So, ladies and gentlemen, um, if I'm going to ask you to put it in the standard form, a polynomial in the standard form, and I'm going to ask you to find the degree and the leading coefficient, the first thing we need to know is what standard form. Yes? What number is that? 17. So that was yes. First thing you need to know is where is, what is even our, um, let me just do an example here. Let's do um, px to the m, where p would be our leading coefficient, and m is going to be our degree. Now, that is when we find it when it's in standard form. So how do we do them in standard form? Remember, standard form is when we take a polynomial and we write it in order from the greatest degree to the smallest degree. So I look at this and I have a couple of degrees here. I have two, three, there's a one there. Is this in greatest to least no. order degrees? No. So the first thing I need to do is rewrite it in descending order. So 3x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 27. Our constant or number is always going to be our last. Okay? Does everybody see that? So that is standard form. Then the next thing I'm asking you is tell me what is the leading coefficient and the degree. So the degree of the polynomial is going to be the largest degree. So if you guys look at it, obviously since I rewrote it from largest to greatest, we know the degree of this polynomial equals 3. Right? And the leading coefficient, which I'm just going to abbreviate with LC, is going to be the leading coefficient, which is going to be 3. Anybody have any questions on that? Okay, so the first, what? Because remember, the leading coefficient is the number that's in front of your um, leading term that has the highest degree. Okay? So what you do is you arrange it from greatest degree to least degree. Then that coefficient of your greatest degree is your leading coefficient. See how it kind of leads? It's like the front, the first one. That's why it's your leading coefficient. It leads your polynomial into that. Got it? Degree, leading coefficient. So this one actually has the same, which is kind of cool. Okay? So that was one problem off your homework. Wow, isn't that? What?